Hello, this is Qi Tuan Wang. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a smartphone or iPad to sign into a Zoom meeting and use it as a whiteboard. I already started the Zoom meeting on my computer. Now I need to sign in on my smartphone. Press the Zoom uh, app. If you haven't done this, you need to download this free first. Whether it's an app store on an iOS device, or a Play Store using an Android phone. Zoom. Press on that. And now I need to join the meeting. You can enter the meeting ID manually. I already have the meeting in the history. So just select the meeting ID and join the meeting. Because this is the Zoom meeting control. Start the video. I need to click Share. The last choice is share whiteboard. This is just a clean surface. Look at this icon, lower left hand corner. It's like a slanted pencil. Tap on that. Now you have the control of the whiteboard. First one is the pencil, pen, just the writing. Second, eraser, tap on that, just the third one, just color five colors you choose for the pen red yellow green blue and then thickness of the um the strokes first one is pretty thin third second third so there's a thickness and this is like a pointer to draw the student's attention to certain parts you want. And then just to press the recycle pin and clear my drawings. And there are a, few, a couple others, clear all drawings. Clear others' drawings. So, uh, I used uh, when you are sharing a whiteboard and others are annotating on your whiteboard as well. So you can only, you can choose to clear all drawings or on your own drawing. And, um, let me draw a circle. It's not a real circle. Triangle. The white feature you can turn on to make them look better. Press the three dots. Smart recognition. Recognition. You just uh, toggle between on off. I'm going to turn this on. Now let's look at here. Still pencil. Now let me draw a circle. It's much better. And triangle. The lines are straight now. So that's the feature you can turn on and off. Uh, if you run out of space, click new whiteboard. So this will be the second whiteboard. And then your whiteboard, just to change the size. Third, if you jump, want to jump between the whiteboards, just press the three dots. View all whiteboards. These are all the whiteboards you have uh, created. You can double click. To open any one of them. Okay. You can choose a saved album. This will save you to your photo album. Individual whiteboard will be saved as an individual file. Well, I forgot to show you one more thing. You can rotate it sideways. This way, maybe it's easier for you to write. For the purpose of this recording, I will use the other orientation that is easier for you to view. Upper right hand corner, you can see there are two icons. This is uh, undo, and the other is redo. Once you uh, have finished sharing the whiteboard, you would like to go back to the Zoom meeting. Look at the upper left hand corner, press the X. 
Now you are returning to the Zoom meeting, the control. If you want to go back to continue to share, you, you press the pencil icon again and come back. Just keep writing. Finished, press the X. Now you can stop sharing it. Okay. Hope this helps. If you have questions, please let me know. Thank you.